So we're just submerging the mushrooms? Yeah, easy as that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This holiday season, we wanted to keep things hearty. So today I invited Chef Imran into the kitchen to show me one of his favorite hearty holiday meals. What do you have in store? So probably one of my favorite things to eat, uh, rice bowls. Yes. I have rice probably four to five times a week. I love and that. And incorporating hearty mushrooms into my rice bowls for me is a no-brainer. Yeah. I love eating mushrooms in general and sometimes I don't always need meat or protein in there. And to yeah. really help showcase these today and how versatile the hearty mushrooms are, uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun though. So, you've given me the task of cutting up our chestnut mushrooms. So, how would you like me to cut these up? So here, we're gonna really showcase the beautiful caps of the mushrooms. Ooh. For this rice bowl, we're gonna end up pickling the caps. So we're gonna want those nice, really big ones, and we're gonna cut them down into bite-sized pieces. Perfect. And it's also great because it kind of it can be a everything in your fridge meal, which after the holidays, when your fridge is filled with like everything so and anything, it's good to have a meal where you're like, all right, everything but the kitchen sink, let's do it. And mm -hmm. I think that this could be one of those meals. Yep. All right, taking your very <laughs> special knife. So you would just want like- Yeah, you quarters. cut the big pieces into quarters, the small ones you can leave whole. I'm gonna slowly get our pickling liquid heating up. So this is a mix of sugar, a touch of water, salt, and rice wine vinegar. Alrighty. How do we feel about this many mushrooms? Do we need more? You know what? I think that's perfect for our okay. rice bowl. There you go. And then we're gonna slowly let this pickling liquid come up because we want this boiling. Boiling, yeah. We want to fully come up and then we're gonna use that residual heat from our boiled pickling liquid to basically, quote unquote, cook the mushrooms. Okay. And then these pickled mushrooms is gonna bring acidity throughout this whole dish, which we're definitely gonna need based on all the rich, flavorful ingredients we're gonna bring in. So sense. while that is coming up, maybe we can start building the base of our bowl. Sure. So let's start running through the other ingredients. So we have freshly steamed rice, Love. of course. Yeah. Here we have rehydrated seaweed, so wakame. This is gonna add a lot of flavor and that sea-like flavor that we're gonna be looking to have here in our rice bowl, and I love eating seaweed. May I try? Yeah, of course, please. Never had it rehydrated. So I've used this like, dehydrated blend into powders in different breads, mm -hmm. different butters oh, and yeah. whatnot, but here rehydrated one with the texture, but then the flavor as well. Mm -hmm. and that bright green color also is gonna it's bring beautiful. a lot of nice color to our end yeah. presentation of our dish. Awesome. You can turn that yeah, off. Really that. And let's uh, let's pour that over. So we're just submerging the mushrooms. Yeah, easy as that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I just got hit in the nose with pickling liquid. That is <laughs> fragrant. So this is marinated salmon roe. So this has been marinating for a few hours. Oh. Katsubushi. Yes. So this is dried, fermented, and smoked slipjack tuna. So these are the flakes that we actually use, and. We're gonna have a little sprinkle of this on top of the rice. Okay. And then we're gonna get this all mixed in and it's gonna be a pretty delicious bite. Yeah, it is. I'm into it. Okay, so I'm gonna have you build out this uh, this rice bowl here. Okay. So we have our Koshi Hakari steamed rice. So a beautiful Japanese strain of rice. This actually comes from California. Oh wow. But this is probably one of my favorite types of rice. So we're gonna mix in a tiny bit of our crispy garlic here. I think this is perfect. I think you're pretty good. Yeah, yeah that looks great. How much you thinking? Yeah, that's good. Here good? We'll take perfect. this and I'll just shape it a little bit just so we have a perfect platform for all our garnishes to sit on top. Do you want to try one of those mushrooms? I do. Oh, sweet. Okay. You're just like, how do I build my hearty mushroom rice bowl? I think I'm going to start here. Mm -hmm. Should I do, do with a spoon or my hands? Do your hands, why not? Why I always like not? to get a little messy when we're cooking. It's so nice to feel it. I good. like to keep it kind of organized for the aesthetics, you oh, know what yes. I mean? You know yes. me when it comes to my food. Okay. Aesthetics well, always page. plays a, a key role. Yeah, so maybe just a little. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna wanna put some of these on top too, but I'll do that, I'll do both. I think I might just go in with the mushrooms. Yeah, let's do it. All right. How are we doing there? Pretty good, I think. Nice. Yep, except for my straight curl. Let's make this a little bit more bodacious. Now it's looking a little, a little bit, bit more. Yeah. 
So we really want to fill that out. Yeah. Now probably one of my favorite parts. Oh yeah. I'll let you do the honors. If you don't mind. Oh, absolutely not. Okay. And last but not least, you want to do the honors? You go ahead. Just do like a really nice pinch and to fill up that little hole there. There you go. Not bad. Wow, she's cute. She really is. And there we have it, our hearty mushroom rice bowl. Pickled chestnut mushrooms, scallion curls, some seaweed, uh, salmon roe, and a tiny bit of katsubushi to finish us off. I love that. Here we go. Mmm. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's so good. I mean, honestly. Happy hearty holiday.